Hey guys, a Federal Commissioner of Code of Conduct Bureau, Honorable Johnson Agbayema, has expressed concern about the lack of significant consequences for corruption in Nigeria, citing cases like the investigation of the former Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, for an alleged 211 billion naira tip. He noted that despite the investigation, AGF Malami still received a, a chieftaincy title in Canon State. He emphasized the importance of cleaning house to eradicate corruption within the Nigerian government. He, he argued that a robust anti corruption stance would defy wrongdoers from engaging in, in corrupt practices. He said in an interview with TVC, if we are able to clean our house, making sure that our house is well clear, clear of corruption, those that are coming in, we understand and know for a fact that don't mix with the Nigerian government, you must do the right thing. Like in America, it is known for a fact that if you collect bribe and you are caught, you are in for it. There is a consequences for this effect, either by firing squad or by hanging or by sentence to life imprisonment. But in Nigeria, how many people have we put in jail? Just recently, we investigated the former AGF, Abubakar Malami, for over 21 billion naira stolen. But that is the same man that went to court and that is the same man that has been given chieftaincy title in Kano as a hero. Those who stole 10,000 naira, 20,000 naira, 100,000 naira in jail. No, something needs to be done. We cannot continue to live like this. Hmm. What is the work of Auditor General of the Federation? What of PAC in the nation, in the National Assembly? They have failed Nigerians. So many anti-corruption agencies, but corruption stands tall in amidst all the ministries. Why? Can the president give them a marching order or he to carry water for mouth, yes or no? Corruption in Nigeria is done with convives of the big emirates. They steal to bribe or make heavy gifts to the, the emirates. Once the thief is arrested, this emir we call that emir before you discover the, the culprit is released. Or bill indefinitely that is Nigeria for you if you are in government and you embezzle money and no any emir is carried along your case is in sorry state Malami thunder go fire you <laughs> until public and civil servants are to killed to are to kill if any sees or embezzles any amount more than 500,000 and stolen em embezzlers amounts recovered. Why below? 500,000 naira will be jailed for life with stolen embezzled amounts recovered. Stealing with impunity will continue because our institutions are dead. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, funny enough, APC government, why coming? They said they are coming for. They are coming to, you know, trash corruption in Nigeria. They are coming to end corruption in Nigeria. But when you look at this government critically, they are the most corrupt uh, government so far in the history of Nigeria. One person, one singular person, this is for one account, 211 billion naira, and nobody is talking about it. Why will others not continue to thief? Then go they thief one uh, every day by day because they know say after when they don't still finish. Eh? After when they don't still finish, nothing they happen. 
if ESCC say they arrest you or the investigation or whatever, they will drill you. If the matter not go pass one year or so, you not go hear about the matter again. Okay, tell me, who won't investigate you? Whose hands is clean? That is the problem. All of them are all stained. You understand? You be thief. I be thief. You they call me thief. So you see, the matter, the matter in this country is, I don't even know where to start from because all of them are involved in this. Every one of them are involved in this. Who won't persecute each other? Eh? Who won't investigate each other? When we say you don't have one case or whatever, whatever, some time ago, they don't cover you somehow. And today you won't bring up another person. And then go remind you down and you will shut up. Until Nigerians, until Nigerians, me and you go stand up, tell ourselves, say, see, no, we are no longer comfortable with this. This we end. Nigerian belongs to every one of us, not for some particular individuals. We cannot be slaves in our father's land. By then, we will not know what to do. And all this impunity stealing will stop. It will end. Because we know the consequences. Before you think of it, the consequences of what you will do eh, is already ringing on your head. By then, you have to stop. It's so sad that we are here. And nobody will talk about these things. No, they won't talk about it. They won't talk about it. And these are the people who will come out and tell people that, hey, they want to persecute people. It's so sad. It's so sad. How many persons this one now don't carry proof for jail? One thing or the other. But he himself is dirty. If you can remember Abakiari issue, the super policeman, how many persons that one don't carry proof for jail? Not knowing that he, he is the chief master of corruption. So you see, these people, they are so wonderful with what they do in a bad way. You understand? Like what I said, it's, it's me and you would stop them. Only me and you will stop them. How are we going to stop them? If anybody is coming, you will understand that, oh, this person is not Ito. Because if this person enters office tomorrow, he's going to drag his corrupt groups and friends and all that. You understand? We have to vote, uh, vote people with integrity, vote people with competence, people who are intelligent, people who knows what they are doing, not people who just want to come and steal. You understand? They are not ready to work. He's a pito. These people, they have finished this country. We're supposed to have enough. Nigeria, Nigeria is a great country. But our politicians, our leaders, they are not making us look like... Our country is so wretched. So sad to say. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg. Subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up.